assalamu alaikum students this is miss lela hassan this uh, video is related to the volume and surface area of prisms first of all we need to have a very clear understanding that what are the prisms i have also uh, written the uh, uh, definition of prisms in one of the assignments i hope that you have gone through the chapter and the reference which i have given to you and the page which you are seeing in the video also belongs to the <coughs> same page now see let's read this uh, caption which is written in the box a prism has a uniform polygonal base what does this mean a prism has a uniform uniforms means same yes as you wear the same uniform as you visit the school regularly uh, polygonal now what does polygonal means polygon have few of the definitions which we have learned earlier in our classes that polygon is a 2d shape it is flat and it has got sides it has got sides vertices and angles yes cross section it has a uniform polygonal cross section what is cross section means that if you cut a prism into half or from the middle the same shape appears that belongs to its base so let's have a closer look with the help of the diagram which is there present in the book this is a polygon yes because it is a flat and it's a 2d shape yes however this is a 3d shape which is made on a on this uh, figure b it's a cuboid the base is here yes and this is the cross section when you cut the prism into half the same shape appear that of the base yes and similarly this is also the base and what is lateral face lateral face means what is the face of the cuboid yes for instance uh this is a cuboid this is a cube yes it is a cube uh, it is a cube yes so this the front face is the lateral face this front face is the lateral face this front face is the lateral face of this uh, of this cube so now let's see how many types of prisms are there present in the book this is page number 348 triangular prism why it is a triangular prism because the base of the prism is triangle and if you will uh, cut or cross section it into half the same shape of triangle will appear yes that is what is called a prism has a uniform polygonal cross section secondly quadrilateral see the base of this prism is a quadrilateral quadrilateral means a shape which is having four sides four corners and four vertices four angles yes so if you will do the cross section or cut it into half the same quadrilateral shape appear in front of you pentagonal prism pentagonal prism what does that mean that the base of this prism is pentagon and if you will cut or have a cross section of this Uh, pentagonal prism the uh, shape which will appear that will be uniform and it will be same as pentagon yes cube or square prism the same is the case cuboid or dash prism what does that what does what is this question mark over here i want to know that which it is a question mark but i'm telling you that it is a rectangular prism yes why because the sides these two sides will be equal and these two sides will be equal therefore it will be constructing a rectangular prism similarly what is the base we will count the sides of the base 1 2 3 4 5 6 and six sided shape is known as hexagon so the base the base is equals to hexagon yes as it is a six sided shape so the name will be derived from this hexagon poly hexagon is a polygon right 
so as it has a uniform polygonal cross section so the name of this prism is derived from this base hexagonal prism i hope that you are clear with this that with the definition of prism which is the most essential part of your curriculum that you need to understand the meaning of the prism and then eventually you will be it will be very easy for you to find out the volume and the surface area of the prisms good luck students